Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to send RF signal to RF device by the ESP from Home Assistant. And you can see this is RF remote. I can use this button to control light on and off, on and off. That is because I have used this 433 MHz switch panel. So you can see when I press this button and send the signal to this panel, and this panel will be on and off. So this I can use this remote to control the light. But this time I will use this ESP32 and use this RF transmitter and to instead of this remote. So you can see this is our transmit module and this is the receiver module. I have already installed it here and it here. This is the case 868A8 board. I have surging uh, antenna, small antenna, so that's used for long distance. You can just wind us cable at this point so that will this antenna pins so just like use this small antenna and the wind and the surgery at this hole and now you can see this is home assistant that I have create a button you can see I can click uh, this will be off and click again this will be on so this will send RF signal because in our phone one of our customer uh, last week have some problem with this RF sending and created by ESP Home. You can see that is his logo file and he can learn in the signal but can't send out because he wants to use this A8 board and also have the RF send module and RF receive module to country a uh, generate. So country this device because this device have a 433 MHz remote. So in Home Assistant, we have created this button and uh, instead of this remote to send the wireless signal. So this is the antenna, I have contacted it here. So this time I will show you how to step by step to create this button. And I click, we have the ESP Home. And I click edit, uh, you can see this is our config file, it's very easy just for receive and for transmit. And now I will show you step by step. I just copy all code and bank up at this way. At the first, you need to decode your remote. So I can delete uh, this about send information. So only this code, just define your GPL 15 because that have used the ESP32. That 15 is receive module have used. And back and just use this code. You, you can decode your remote. So you can save and install and to Raspberry Pi. Because I have enabled the web service, so you can see, I can also use this IP address uh, in the web page and see the logo file easily. And just wait for a moment, that will comply. Let's look at this code, because for the ESP home, online guide, you can see here, that a remote receiver. You can just define the pin number and the dump. Uh, you can dump all, we'll have all information have dumped. That is complete. Because the many remote, just you can see, many this remote used by RC switch library. The Arduino code also is usually use this RC switch library for decode. So this time, we can also add this only dump from this RC switch. So that will be easy to check the code. And these settings just as mine. So after you download the firmware, you will see the key code. Okay, you can see that is the logo output. That is 1.164, just this web page. I can refresh, so this web page will be open. And this is the logo file. And also I can see the logo at here. And now you can see I use this remote and press this button one 
you can see I press this button one, that have the in output the code. So if we have input, just press a different button, that will have the different code output. So this time I only use this the first one, uh, just this one. So you can see the first one, I just use this code and this protocol. That means RC switch row, the code, the original code. I just copy and paste for the bank up at here. Okay, this K code have the code is very easy. And now I just insert how to transmit this code. Just this section. You can see auto is very easy. Pin number. I can check it here. That is 433 megahertz send. That is number two GPIO. So just define GPIO number two. And this just as this way. And the quarter switch and the name is RC power button. And you can see uh, I can copy and paste at here uh, because this is button one if you want to use button two just replace the button two key button and the protocol that is one so this is one this is one and repeat that is very important because the wireless will not stable so I repeat the 10 is 10 and also we can see the customers configure YAML file you can see it here. I have seen his code. And this is for transmit. And this is for receiver. The receiver is no problem. But I think he why not can't send the message. Maybe it not at this repeat sections. So I think he only sends the signal for one time. If he can add this repeat, that will be good. So you can see uh, at here, at here, he have set the signal, but have not this repeat. I think you can add it here. Okay, let's go on. And we can copy and paste our code just for this one for send command at here and also you need to copy this one define the transmit okay now we can press save okay now you install complete now you can see Let's look at it here, the dashboard, and we can press this button uh, for on and for off. And also you can see I can use this remote uh, for on and for off. But without this remote, I can use Home Assistant uh, to send this command on and off. Also, I can open this web browser by this IP address because I have enabled the ESP32 board web service. So you can see I can click on and off uh, this will be send the signal and this is received uh, when I press this button to send the signal that have logo have received so you just need to decode this protocol number and the data and the replace in the section of the transmit you can see this is ESP home transmit that is switch use the switch and use by the RC switch format adjust need to replace this code and this protocol number and the repeat repeat time this is most important because in our KCS firmware you can see here also have a replay repeat account that have 50 tens so this is important for IF to send your signal to your own device okay this is how to use the home assistant to control your own device by RC switch